abstracts on the beat. Good morning. Welcome to Beyond the Blockchain Podcast. I am your host, Abby Harris. I do this each and every day. Now, today we decided, I decided to start at 11.30 on a Saturday because it is Saturday. And who wants to wake up early on a Saturday to do a show? You guys, because I got y'all guys programmed to say, hey, we're going on the show because Abby is tuning in at 10 a.m. But no, I am changing my time <clears throat> on Saturdays and Sundays. I will be recording. I will be going live at 1130. OK, so if that's too early because you've been 10 a.m. is too early because you've been partying all night and you want to get up and recoup, then that's what we're going to do. All right. So without further ado. Uh, let's talk about today's topics. Uh, not this Monday, but next Monday, we will have Kate uh, as our spotlight guest. Uh, big 25th anniversary. It is March 9th. Buster Rhymes made it to the metaverse. Tesla stolen with a Flipper Zero. We're going to talk about Flipper Zero and what that is all about. Uh, BTC, Bitcoin hitting 70K. Wyoming Dow, excuse me, Wyoming legal Dow structure, um, the ordinals wallet. So you already know, um, today I had some good information. Uh, the information that I had today, uh, I put inside of my telegram group. That is definitely something we're going to talk about, but, um, and if you haven't got a chance to be a part of Empire Dow to get you a, a space, a desk over there, then you need to do so. Shout out, shout out to Mike Fiata. Uh, Monday Spotlight Guests. This who our Spotlight Guests is. See, I don't want to mess up Kate's last name because I will definitely chop it up. Hold up. Uh, 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 uh. Kate is an amazing visionary, entrepreneur, techno trailblazer. This is going to be a great interview. Make sure you pull up and check this out. It's not going to be this Monday. It's going to be next Monday because this month is International Women's Day. And the funny thing is, ironically, um... Last year, I had a panel of all women for uh, International Women's Day or International Women's Month. And um, Kate was one of my guests, right? So it's ironic that a whole year we have an anniversary and we back to it. And she has one of my guests for Beyond the Blockchain podcast. So make sure you get a chance to tune in to see what's going on. We talk about a lot of things. Uh, a lot of tech analysts, AI, with life, all types of stuff. Moving on in the wild space, uh, we are at $68,000. You already know. I hope you've been gathering your eight coins. Uh, hmm, I got a concept, yeah, guys. I got a concept. But I hope you've been dollar coins averaging and looking at some of the stuff that I've been talking about inside of... Um, uh, oh my goodness, I seen something that just looked like it's just going parabolic here. Please, please, please. I didn't even tell you guys. Oh, well, how could I not tell you that? It is March 9th, right? It is March 9th. Yeah, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. 
right, so this is what I want to do. Guys, I have to, well, you know what it is. Today is the 25th anniversary of Biggie. Shout out to my boy, Clep. You know, uh, I had a lot of monumental moments from going to the tunnel, seeing fights, the music, the vibe. Like, it was a whole thing back there. Biggie, Tupac, like, I got to talk. There's something I had to talk about today. Um, what is your memorable moments of the music, the era uh, of Biggie? That's, you know, I just wanted to just shout that out today because I am definitely a Biggie Smalls fan. But as we continue to go through our prices, <clears throat> look at my C. Look at this, Floki. Moving on, Thor Chain, Flow, Bonk. Bonk look like it's going on sale. Sweet. Ha ha ha. Starting it. Hey guys, I am starting to tap into this. This is something I'm tapping into. Now, I know, uh, I don't know if you guys know about Singularity, um, but it's a, it's a really cool platform. It's a really cool platform. And I need to be doing better with this than I am doing because they have been ahead of the curve for a minute um, with some of the AI stuff that they are offering in their platform. Where is my D-Pen project? Look, $9.46. If you was arbitrage trading, you could have been making money all on this. So I've been talking about this for a minute. Um, Moving on into our day. Bitcoin passes 70000 only to plummet again. And it only plummeted to 68000 we already we already knew. I keep telling you guys. They, you know what? Here's the funny thing. This is I, I'm glad that this is actually coming up. L legit. I am so happy that this is coming up. I've been saying, if you've been paying attention to my show, I've been talking about how there are going to be ranges to where this thing bounces from up to down. Right. So we already seen the high. But if you're dollar cost averaging, then it doesn't matter to you. But when they put up titles like this, right, when you see titles like this plummeted again, plummeted, that gives you fear. Oh, my God, it's plummeted. That gives you fear. Don't pay attention to some of this stuff. This this is this is just to to scare the retail investors, maybe to pull out, to sell. Why? Because there's no more Bitcoin on the open market for BlackRock to sell. So if you're selling your Bitcoin, then you selling your Bitcoin because you want to get out. That means it's going back into the market for them to get. No, you need to keep the Bitcoin. Diamond hands. That's what we're talking about. Moving on. Bitcoin ordinal wallets. Y'all know how I feel about ordinals. I am pro ordinals. I need to add a little bit more ordinals to my piggy bank. I've been procrastinating on ordinals, right? But ordinal oil, 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 oil wallet uh, just got $3 million. Um, so for me, what do I do, guys? <laughs> Let's do the due diligence. First thing we do is go to their Twitter. They have uh, 90, they have 14 followers they joined march 2023 they last post was january 9th which is the wallet and here is the design and i go to their website here's the website hard to access in the world get an invite you put your email you get the invite but the website is pretty cool how they got all the people dancing and all of that, right? And it's really cool. Like, this is cool. So I'm an ordinal guy. I like ordinals. This is an ordinal wallet. This is a way to trade BRC20 tokens in your own wallet. Pay attention to what you do. Do your own research. This is not financial advice. This is the information that I'm bringing as I go through. And yes, I do have my ordinal uh, alpha uh, sign up. Yeah. Yes, I do have mine, so why wouldn't I do it? Moving on, 
Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network, DPIN. I talk about DPIN projects all the time, all the time. Uh, we just showed you Hint that has been bouncing between eight and nine dollars. We're waiting for it to break nine dollars, and we believe it's going to go parabolic because they're building the infrastructure off of the cell network and cell towers. Shout out to my boy Omar because he is one of these guys that is so pro that he's putting cell towers all over the south. And here is the D pin map. If you are part of my Telegram group web network, let me get my shameless plug. If you're part of my group web network, then guess what? You would have access to this list that I'm actually showing you guys right now. I'm just gonna scroll through the list. The helium is right there sitting at number one spot, but these are all the protocols that deals with decentralized infrastructure. So if you figure a way that you wanna be a part of this, then tap in, tap in. They have all types of driving apps, all types of stuff. But once again, this is not financial advice. This is just me talking on things that's happening in the blockchain and beyond. <laughs> so, Wyoming grants DAO's new legal structure. Um, I am a part of a DAO. The legal structure was registered in the Marshall Islands uh, because they was trying to get around certain things that was happening within the structure of, of legal legalities on in the United States, but when you're dealing with DAOs and other structures, um, Wyoming and there's a few other states that are pro uh, Web3 platforms of building uh, legal frameworks for business structures. Um, A16 says, if you encourage the DAO, it's associated with establishing themselves in that state. Wyoming has established a new legal framework for in-state decentralized autonomous organizations, nonprofits that has crypto investments, giant Andersons. See, messing up now. Here we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sign in law. Grow, growing coals already clear. Let's see. I'm just curious. What is, what is the uh, law that they put in? Continue the story below. This bill week would set up rules for stable coin issuers, despite having clear targets for enforcement actions on focus on federal regula regulations, including the U.S. Commodities Futures Trade Commissions to have gone after Dow, such as in the case of Oki Dow. Okay, hold up. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I need to pull this case because I would like to read it. I, I, I'm just part. I haven't been into the to the nitty gritty of the details of certain things and the laws that have changed. I have not updated myself personally about Dow since maybe probably about me a year ago. I stopped looking into it because there's so much information on Web three and crypto, right? Um, you have to kind of like stay abreast of this, especially if you're running a DAO or all part of a DAO and they are implementing tokens and all of this other stuff because um, once it starts going into that legal structure, then the SEC becomes a part of it. And then you might be a part of a big lawsuit that we see. Moving on, uh, Cordell Broadus, that is Snoop Dogg's son, uh, Champ Medic Arts Fund Scholarship Awards and selects University of Bahamas as the recipient. Congrats to the University of Bahamas uh, to support artists in the Web3 space. Um, this is a situation for people who don't know. <clears throat> this is a situation to where you see Snoop Dogg's a lot of crypto stuff. It's all because of his son. And his son is one of the biggest uh, uh, people that's pro crypto and especially creating a diversity for music artists. And he is helping out. Um, 
This is something you need to check in. Hold up, let me see. Uh, this financial, hold up. Come on, guys. Let me let me allow my tech. What did I just do? Let me allow my tech to. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm over here messing up. <laughs> it is Saturday, right? Let me allow my tech to do some work for me. Is that okay with you guys? This financial, this financial contribution, contribution, a donation, a donation of $100,000, 100, aims, aims to bolster, bolster the university's art and music, music division, division, empowering students with opportunities to explore non-fungible token, NFT, projects and deepen their understanding of the Web3 space, according to Bahamas Local. Furthermore, the university will be granted an extra gift earmarked for technological equipment and supplies to further enhance digital art and music initiatives. Film.io is the world's most powerful decentralized filmmaking ecosystem. Powered by the Film.io Deo, we are placing Hollywood decision-making onto the blockchain and into the hands of creators and fans.
add tracks on the beat. Up in New York City, I am Abby Harris, your host today. What up, what up, welcome to Beyond the Blockchain, I am your host Abby Harris.